Hi guys and welcome to uh, the channel. We're gonna put in a new transducer on one of the jet skis that I got. I lost it for some reason and um, it got destroyed as we were out in the water. Uh, so now we're gonna go and protect it a little bit more. So we're gonna put it inside the stabilizer and it's gonna work very nicely with the Garmin up there as well. It's a uh, 44 CV so that should be absolutely fine. So here's the stabilizer, I've just taken it off the jet ski. The previous uh, transducer was actually mounted right in here and it actually fit very, very nicely. You can see the old holes are still there and um, it was supposed to be for the wire. It never came that way through though, but um, now I'm gonna go ahead and change it slightly and I'm gonna move it up to this part up here instead, meaning that it will actually just be flush with uh, the stabilizer itself, mounted inside the area right here in between these two holes and then it should be protected for the speed the jet ski travels with and also it should be able to see both clear view sonar and the whole thing should be fine and visible on the uh, garmin receiver as well so uh, stay the tuned. garmin transducer a, a gt20 and uh, that's the one that's going to be replaced with the one that i lost on the, the, the ocean and um, that's the one we're going to go ahead and see if we can complete install and embed it into the installation of the stabilizer for the jet ski so we'll have a look in about a few minutes. So we have to make room for the transducer inside here with all these uh, stringers that's there. When we're going to cut them out, they're probably going to be a little bit less strength in the stabilizer itself. But once it's there, it's going to protect the transducer a little bit more to the high speeds when we're out there on the water. Uh, and then I'm planning on having the wire running up on the upper side, basically all the way down to this part and then out in the end and then straight up to the receiver part so we can see the clear view and also the sonar and everything else up there. So uh, stay tuned, we should be on our way. Yes, welcome to the workshop. Um, here was the old uh, transducer that I lost. Here's the new one we're gonna put in and uh, my plan has just changed slightly. So I wanted actually initially to put it in here so it was actually encapsulated in the plastic. But um, I think I'll put it back where it was and actually just put it straight on the outside but with the wire inside and actually just turning it through here so it's almost flush with the other part. That way I don't get any interference on the receiver screen and I'll actually have clear images on that screen as well. So um, I'm going to nice and easy start using the, there are two different let's say templates with it. This is the one I'm going to use because it provides a good support from the other side. And that's basically what I'm going to go ahead and hold on the uh, transducer to the uh, stabilizer itself. And um, then it should be hopefully giving a good picture after that. So stay tuned. We have to create a little bit of room to make sure that the new transducer actually has the uh, lee room that has to go and be uh, helping it to be tight into the system. So I'm going to use a small drill and then I'm going to go ahead and fine tune it afterwards. This is a little bit about the progress. Uh, as you can see, we're getting a bit closer and making sure that it doesn't go up against the, um, the, the hull itself on this side. However, now I need to make sure that all the holes are going to fit whenever we got to mount the um, stainless steel mount on the other side. And uh, I'm just going to mark them off now and then I'm going to attach the, um, the transducer a little bit in, in about maybe a few minutes. What I need to do is I need to make sure I get a little hole here as well so everything's actually still reinforced and still have and carries the strength of the stabilizer and then it should be fine to mount it back onto the jet ski. Well, so far so good. Um, we're now actually ready to see if we can get everything to fit here. I need a new couple of new bolts and then we're ready to go. Um, but this should be fitting straight into this hole. And then once it's actually in here, it's just a matter of putting everything back together again and uh, the new transducer is then mounted on its new location and I think actually it's gonna be a lot better than it would be before so so far this is just to pull the whole wire through and then after that that's gonna be located right here with a um, I'm planning on putting the stainless steel mount on the inside just to reinforce it uh, to make even more sure that it's going to stay on board here. We're almost ready to go. It's going to be a little bit finer and needs a little bit of finesse on there. However, um, we should be ready within uh, the next few minutes to continue the process. Uh, what I've done in the meantime, I've actually gotten some little bit longer screws to make sure that it fits straight underneath there. So it's nice and firm and com completely tight towards the uh, rubber stabilizer as well whenever it gets installed. So we should be ready to assemble okay, it. So far that we have this thing already installed. It's flush with here and also up there. So it should be protected when it gets in the water at full speed as well. Inside, it's actually put in with the uh, bolts. I've changed the original 
folds out with some other ones also stainless steel but with hex uh, heads instead that way if we go ahead and get a hold of them and tighten the uh, transducer up put the wire all the way in and then it's going to be coming back in the uh, end and then straight to the hull after that not to the receiving end so now we have to go ahead and install it and that should be more or less i hope a perfect uh more or less a per perfect position or um place on the jet ski so it should be underwater most of the time and uh, should give you a very very accurate reading as well on the receiver so let's go have a look the location if it's seen from the outside close up it's actually located um, right down there and this is basically where the sonar transducer now is located well protected and uh, looking forward to see how it works out on the ocean as well so i hope you enjoyed it maybe clarify a few things and gave you some a few ideas as well and um, have fun out there and take care and ride safely on the water make sure you bring your vests and everything else the installation of the transducer is now complete it's sitting in there very well protected by the stabilizer itself you can see the wire in the end going back up into the fuselage uh, in the hull and then it goes from there straight up to the receiver we have both clear view and also the regular um, view as well so you have everything on this one now and it works really well uh, i'll say the final result i'm quite happy with it and um, i'm looking forward to go out and go fishing tomorrow have a look at it and see how it works